What's good? It's me, J. King, a.k.a. Coach OG. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang. Shout out to my IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. Yo, I'm here with another Replica Bill update for y'all. This is funny because it's only the second time I did this bill, but it's the second update for this bill. We talking about James Harden, a.k.a. The Beard. Let's go ahead and get into it. Choose whatever name you choose, royalty in my name, so King it is. The position is point guard. And by the way, shout out to the sub that actually brought this to my attention. I appreciate you letting me know. And let's go ahead, man. We got you. I got you. I promise you. Like I said, the position is point guard, a.k.a. point guard. Everybody know James Harden is a lefty. And man, I tell you, man, no, no matter what it is, you look through history, lefties can shoot, man. So it's not surprising to me that that man's a lefty. Anytime I step on the court and I see a lefty, I'm automatically guarding up, man. I'm just saying. Position, I mean, the jersey number is number one. Keep it moving. James Harden is 6'5", 220, with a 6'10 wingspan. We're going with the 6'10 wingspan. Body shape is whatever body shape you choose, but you know me, real life gym rat, man. I got to pick the fine anyway close shot 80 driving layup 85 driving dunk 86 standing dunk 31 post control 68 i think compared to the first one the only the, the more noticeable difference is the post control but we don't really care about that and that gives us 20 finishing badges going down to shooting if i'm not mistaken for the most part this stayed the same i think i might have increased the free throw by one I think it was 83 before, but now it's 84. So, midi, 83, three ball, 85. And, like I said, free throws at 84 for 23 shooting badges. Now, I did take down the pass, I think, by one. Because it was at 75 before, and now it's at 74. So, the pass actually 74. Ball handles the same at 89. Speed with balls the same at 78 for 20 playmaking badges. Going down to defense. This, yeah, I think, is where we change the most. Um, and so interior defense, we're going 56, which I believe was the same. We good, I think we went down a little bit on the perimeter defense. I'm, I, I'm trying to remember which ones was which before, but 76 on the perimeter defense. Uh, we're going 48 on the steal, 51 on the block. Uh, we did increase the offensive rebound by one, and that's because the cap for being higher was within that eight. So I had to go up one to be within that eight. And uh, defensive rebound is 63 for 11 play, uh, defensive badges. Now, compared to the last one, we actually went up a defensive badge. So it's kind of crazy how that worked out because I think I took down some stuff, but then I was able to put up some other things that actually were able to give me one more defensive badge. So it's weird. Uh, going down to physicals now, we got 80 for the speed, 80 for the acceleration, 70 on the strength. 80, I went up one. It was 79 before, but now we have an 80 vert and a 90 stamina. So, it's still looking pretty good, man. It's still a competitive build. You still get the slash and take, shot creating tape, shark take, and play take. You know, all that makes sense for a James Harden build. Uh, these are the takes I chose, but, you know, like I always say, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just choose something that fits your playing style, but it won't affect the build name. But we got Jamal Murray, Kay Cunningham, and Spencer Dinwiddie. I don't really understand why Spencer Dinwiddie is in that conversation, but to each his own. Whatever. I don't know how 2K comes up with this stuff. But ultimately, we got the guy James Harden, a.k.a. The Beard. And let's go against the badges. Since we got an extra defensive badge, let's go through the badges again. We're going to go up to 99 here. And let's get into it. So, um, he is 6'5". We got a lot of 6'9". You got to be at least 4 inches. So, I think John Slayer definitely helps out. Uh, We're going to go fearless finisher on bronze. We're going to acrobat bronze. Um, We're going to go down here. We're going to go gold on the limitless. Uh, I did this backwards, but you get the point. We're going to go uh, posterizer on silver. Like I said, limitless on gold. And let's go fast twitch on bronze. You know what I'm saying? And, or you can go up to gold on the acrobat. And then go aerial wizard on bronze. You know, depends on how you play. If you do, I don't do a lot of acrobat shots, so I don't invest that much in it you know what i'm saying but you know i notice a lot of times i get caught in a fast break because my big man throws a late outlet you know what i'm saying or whoever my big man is might throw a late outlet so i'm end up under the basket and they stay they on my tail so i gotta put it up quick so that fast twitch comes in handy too but that just pick that you know a lot of based off of you know how you play or situations you might be in uh so off right here off the gate I'm a gold space creator. If y'all watched my videos before, then you know how much I like to equip space creator. Which is funny because I don't do it that much, 
but I just like having it because when I get in that bag, I'm in that bag. Just know that. Uh, I'm going to go Mini Magician on Bronze because 2K last told us that it works pretty good on Bronze, so we're going to stick with that so far. Then we're going to go Bronze on the Green Machine and Clutch Shooter. Um, we're going to drop down here. And, of course, we're going to go Agent 3. To me, the best badge, period. Best badge in the game, especially the best shooting badge. It's my opinion. You don't have to agree, but I know a lot of people that will also agree with me. Um, we also going to go Silver on the Limitless Range. And then we can go uh, silver on the the blinders as well. And that actually works out right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, for those of you who, you know, um, I, think, I feel like you have a high enough three ball. You don't need. This is for my on ball type of people. And it's a point guard. So it just makes sense that you're on ball. But if you are, for whatever reason, playing uh, off ball, um, you can go. No, I'm gonna keep that there. Uh, you can go catch a shoot silver, uh, cause once again it's not a big gap between silver and gold, so you might as well just save the points and go silver. Um, and my fat, we gonna we gonna oh no, nah, we don't have enough. Uh, we gonna go clutch shooter. We gonna go mini magician on bronze. You know, claymore silver. So my catch and shoot guys, you know what I'm saying? Just in case you decide to do that. Uh, this is an off-ball type of, I mean, on-ball type of player. So personally, I think the first lineup would be your best option. But let's go down to playmaking now. You know what I'm saying? My favorite category personally. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my point guards out there. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Point guard. Um, so we're going to go Hall of Fame. Of course, we're going to Hall of Fame on a quick first step. I'm going to go Bell out on bronze. Needle thread on bronze. Needle thread is actually... Might be honestly my favorite badge to be honest with you. It might be my favorite badge because uh, I like putting up the Hall of Fame when I have players that it go up on. If, if yeah, unless I can get it on Hall of Fame, I don't put it up past bronze because it works pretty good on bronze. But on Hall of Fame, you could stun your opponent. So to me, it works great for that. Uh, so uh, I need one more. Oh, we gonna go bronze real quick on that. Now, all right. Now I got the one more I need. We gonna go. We're going to core, clamp breaker on gold. I don't dribble that much. I'm a very simple dribbler. Even being an on-ball guy, I don't use, I, I know, don't normally need three moves. Uh, I'm normally able to catch you early enough or manipulate enough where I'm not doing three back-to-back -back moves. I'm not a, a dribble spammer. So I don't use killer combos and I don't use handle for days very much. Uh, and if I do use handle for days because I got that many badges and I'm just going for bronze. You know what I'm saying? I don't really even, I definitely don't go past silver, but, you know, for those of you dribble gods, then, yeah, you can you can use that, but I'm not going through that because, I mean, I, I don't use it, so, you know. Uh, so, we're going to go hyperdrive silver. Uh, it's not a big big difference between silver and gold. I believe it's just 1%, a 1% difference, so we're just going to leave that alone. We don't need that. Uh, it actually works pretty good on bronze, too, but, you know, we got extra badges, so might as well, might as well just, you know, put it up there. Uh, as a matter of fact, for those of you who like to help your team, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, oh, we actually, you don't have it that much, honey. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you can't get Floor General Hall of Fame, ain't no point. So we ain't going to do it. Uh, let's go bro, uh, Dimer on Bronze, though. And then we're going to go Special Delivery on Bronze because uh, you really only got a 71 pass accuracy. So, you know, let's, let's just get a little more reassurance that we can get those uh, oops off because we definitely like throwing the oops over here. All right, going defense now. We're going to do anchor on bronze. We're going to go... Um, now, we got 11. So, you you know, with only 11 badges, you need at least 15 to get anything in tier 3 because of value. Remember, you got to get 10 in tier 1, between tier 1 and tier 2. And then, you know, these are a value of at least 5 on bronze. So, you would need at least 15 badges just to get anything in tier 3. Just remember that, period. So, when you make your builds... I'm going to do a video, by the way. I'm working on several, like knowledge and tutorial type videos and one of them is uh knowing what to think about as you're making your build you know what i'm saying or right before you make your build what, what to keep in mind so uh we're gonna go gold on the ankle braces because you you can't be caught seeing as you have a lower uh you know perimeter defense we're gonna go to post lockdown in case you you get a bigger guards they will back you down the good ones anyway like myself, I have a 6'9 point guard. I am not afraid to put y'all in the post. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, We're going to go bronze on the rebound chaser. 
and I don't recommend you being the main defender but if you you know do and you run them random so they ain't trying to switch or whatever you just run bronze uh, pick dodger that works um, it's really about kind of the timing that you go through the picks um, that works out the best to be honest with you but as an off ball defender off ball pest definitely helps out uh, pogo stick uh, we can go box out beast as well on bronze and that'll work out uh, matter of fact this is the value is uh this is kind of a hardcore um uh, like it's hard to court because it pops up kind of randomly and it depends on the person that you're going against so this is not something you can really core like in my career but if you do get a chance to court then that would be the best one to core because you will not get the most value out of it but let's go ahead and be realistic oh my god i hate it when that happens we're going straight back at it. Uh, we're going to try to core off ball pest because that one is easier. You can do that when you go to core that. And we can do like this. Bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Uh, <laughs> um, or you can even try to core uh, pick dodger as well. So let's say you core that instead. That's something that is a little more doable. You know. Um. And like I said, off ball pass bronze, box off beast bronze. And that'll work right there, you know. Um, you really ain't got too, too much to work with, but this is actually pretty decent. You can hold your own. The 76 is definitely easy enough, uh, good enough to, to cover the perimeter. Uh, you just ain't gonna be a lockdown or nothing like that. So, you know, just as long as you got somebody in your back to, to you know, if you get a dribble guard, you, you could get caught. Just throwing it out there. Uh, that's why all my bills, my personal bills, all have. You know, at least a uh, 86. I, I like to have that silver clamp. So, at the very least, I like bronze clamp, or at least have like an 80 uh, perimeter defense. But you know, you just gotta be smart with it. As long as you're smart with it, you'll be safe. You know what I'm saying? But there you have it, man. We got the updated version of the point guard James Harden, the 76ers recent James Harden. It's actually the recent version of James Harden based off his stats you know that was the, the stat upgrade and why we needed an update so in case y'all wonder why you why we keep having the uh, upgrade and why they don't work anymore it's because the stats change in real life and they update the game based on the stats and their abilities in in real life so you know that's why we need these updates but just continue to keep letting me know whatever bills whether i've done it or not before just let me know and i will definitely come through and get y'all that as soon as i can but y'all know what it is, man. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that noti bell as well. And y'all know what the motto is, man. Say it with me. Don't be toxic. And let's ball. Never mind who you thought I was.